Q. I've not had that much fun in many years. I must have drank too much soda pop like Coca-Cola and Pepsi Max. It has been such a lovely and wonderful surprise from you and the rest of the colleagues. Thank you ever so much again for making my day special Paul Perkinson. It's been the best birthday I've ever had. My mom and dad were at work so they couldn't join with us earlier today. Oh well. Is Andy alien okay as he drank so much pop and chia how must have had too many desserts for himself. I think Beth and Karen are currently helping them too getting ready for bed while they feel unwell. Beth and Karen at the moment are in the toilets as Andy Alien has been vomiting in the gents. Graham Gareth is currently helping Chia Howe getting some fresh air and drinking plenty of water so his stomach can be healed. It must have been all of the excitement from today that made everyone gone a bit loopy. I best head for bed now as I got a busy day in the comfort room tomorrow morning with Beth and Natasha. Sleep well Paul. You to Sarah. Old home riddle Graham, I must have gotten carried away by eating far too much chocolate and cake. Bear in mind Chi Hao, you did got a bit overexcited when Sarah was dancing with you and you were in a playful mood with her. I felt a bit dizzy myself, but I managed not to get too carried away and ending up vomiting like Andy Alien is at the moment. Do you feel better now? Well I certainly feel more relaxed and my stomach feels better than earlier. So yes Graham, I do feel better now thanks. What a day I have to say. Well I'm off to bed on the 6th floor after today's events. You sleep well Chi Hao and I'll see you in the morning for normal work. Good night Graham, see you in the morning too for work. Um, hello, Daniel, Oliver Luffwell. What was that, viewers? Last episode ever? What a brand new day. Busy day in the comfort room for me. Huh? That's strange. I can't open my door. I hope. Oliver Maplewell Owen. Hasn't locked me in here. What the? Hey? My door. It's locked. I can't get out. Paul? Are you there? What on earth? Why can't I leave my bedroom? Rotten reality. Have you done this? You better answer me. Why am I locked in my own bedroom? My bedroom door doesn't even have a keyhole. Something must have happened overnight when we were all fast asleep. What the actual crud is this? Why can't I leave my room? I got work today. Come on you stupid door.
Ouch. That hurt. Hello? Alan Burgerton? It's Sarah Soft. We got a massive problem at the apartment. What's happened? Has Oliver Maple Law and took revenge on Paul Perkinson? Not really. All of us at the apartment can't leave our bedrooms. Our doors are locked. None of the doors has keyholes and we can't get out. A curse has happened. Hmm? I better let Harriet and Beagle know. Stay on the line. Alan? Is your voice okay? Oh no. Rotten reality. He must have done this. Daniel and Natasha are currently looking out for rotten reality and an unknown villain to stop them bringing problems to our lives. Paul and his colleagues are trapped at the apartment. You must try to get in as much as you can Alan, well I'll go with Louis to help him put an end to the villains, once and for all. I'll use all of my energy and power to help Paul Perkins and my friends to get out of the trap room's rotten reality caused them to be stuck. Wish me all of the best luck Henrietta. Alan? Why is your voice so glitchy? Oh. He's gone. Oh well, I'd better go to Lewis and see what he is up to. This is a bit hopeless Natasha. How are we going to find Rotten Reality and the other unknown villain for ourselves, if we just search around all over this place? I really don't know to be honest Daniel Dickinson. Rotten Reality and his father are too good for us. And you're absolutely right my gorgeous. We are too good for you. We'll make you all dilly and destroy the smash stoves so the fellow insects can fly through the rain. How absolutely dare you call me and clean me the pathetic insects. If I can see you, I would have stung you and rotten reality as fast as the both of you can run. Oh, don't give me that last to Chanel to Sawyer. May I have someone who will you all? We got the man who's preparing John to judge ourselves. So you must be Queen Wasp Wendy. I am Natasha Pooley and this is my close friend, Daniel Dickinson. How do you know Queen Bee Beth, Jonathan Jack and those two villains you've heard? I first known Rotten Reality and Heartless when Queen Bee Beth told me about how them two captured her seven years ago. I knocked out them two and rescued my frenemy before Rotten Reality and Heartless broke her wings off. I despises them two so much, and now Heartless told me that they've kidnapped a man who's repairing Jonathan Jack. Without him, Jonathan can never be repaired. Oh no. I don't know who's Jonathan Jack is, but that repair man sounds very essential to him. Where is Queen Bee Beth as of the moment Queen Wasp Wendy? I told her to get Lewis from his house, and I need you two to come with me since Alan Bergerton told me that everyone at Paul's apartment are trapped, only you two, Lewis, Alan, Henrietta Beagle, Queen Bee Beth and myself can get rid of Rotten Reality and Heartless, once and for all. It's all up to us since there's nobody else available. What about Lee Leeton and Charles Kaitan? How about they help us too? Lee Leeton is on holiday in Skegness for a week, and Charles Chitton is in trouble with the police at the moment for stealing Shifu Song's 2023 edition CDs, getting into a fight with Alessandro the other night ago when I saw him drunk at a pub and Charles smashed Alessandro's face with an empty glass bottle, and Charles is in court at the moment and he can't help us either. I did ask Alessandro if he could help us, but he wasn't interested and needed to go to hospital to get his face recovered. Alessandro looks terrible since he was fired. Hey. Let go of me. Daniel. Wendy. Help me. I'll save you Natasha. Too late I'm afraid. We need to get rid of them to right now Queen Wasp Wendy. Hang on tight Daniel. It's going to be a bumpy ride. 
Are you okay carrying me and Louis at the same time, Queen Bee Ben? Well, I got to be Henrietta. I carried you and Louis before, so I'm doing it again. It's time for the ultimate fight between us, and them too. As much as I want to greet my audience a massive hello and welcome to my 100th episode of the show, getting rid of Rotten Reality and Heartless is the biggest and most important priority right now so we can put an end to them too, once and for all. Agreed. Do you have like a X-ray vision so you can see the invisibility of Rotten Reality and Heartless Queen Wasp Wendy? That could make the search a lot quicker and easier. Unfortunately no Daniel. That doesn't exist in the real world as that power is just in fictional stories and Hollywood movies. But I can smell rotten reality and heartless with my senses. Can you smell either of them now from up here? Natasha was taken up the sky and disappeared when them to kidnap her from us. Well. There's Daniel and Queen Wasp Wendy you two. Why is Queen Wasp Wendy? Being grabbed on in the air. Oh, no. Bye. Bye, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel. Goodbye, everybody. Farewell to you all. Got you, Daniel. Thank goodness for Alan Burgerton. Close call, I have to say. Daniel would have been finished if he wasn't around to save him. Paul Perkinson, where are you? Hum, there's nobody around here. I'll check upstairs to see if anybody has seen my beautiful boyfriend nearby. Paul Perkinson, Sarah Soft. Audrey, is that you? Paul, why are you in your bedroom? Oh, your bedroom door is locked. Have we fallen out or something? Oh, are you cheating on me, Paul Perkinson? No and no. I'm not cheating on you and we haven't fallen out in the slightest. I can't get out of my bedroom. None of us at the apartment can. A curse has happened and all of my colleagues except for Daniel Dickinson and Natasha Pulley are trapped in their respective rooms including me. Alan Bergerton at the moment is helping Daniel and Natasha out, Henrietta Biggle is also in the case too. Have you called the police based on this scenario, Audrey? They could help us get out of our rooms and unstuck our bedroom doors. I haven't, Paul, as I didn't know you were stuck along with the other colleagues of your apartment. Where is Sarah's bedroom as I left my phone on charge at my house? Sarah can call the police so they can get all of you out of the trapped bedrooms and the police can also stop whoever has caused this curse to your apartment. Sarah Soft's bedroom is on the second floor. Go to her and can you also get Sarah to call Chiling Helipunter as we need her help to. Danielle is away with family reasons and I can't call my sister Matilda as my phone is in my office on the ground floor. Sure thing my darling, I'll sort everything straight away. I feel sorry for you and I am very sorry for accusing you of cheating. I took you too personally when I didn't know you were trapped in your own bedroom. I'll go to Sarah now. Thanks Audrey. Come on Henrietta Allen, Natasha and Daniel. We're all relying on you. You three stay together and try to find one of them pair while me and Queen Bee Beth will look in the air. Good luck Lewis and Beth. I'll make sure Robin Reality and Heartless are done for. My muscles are twice the size as either of them in comparison. Be careful you two. Robin Reality and Heartless are very powerful. Even Queen Wasp Wendy couldn't stop them. My powers are always more powerful than either of them anyway, so you got nothing to worry about Henrietta Biggle. Let's take off, Beth. Here we go. Look, I'm sorry I don't know who you are, but I'm busy right now making sure my brother is okay. Do you truly know Paul Perkinson? Yes, I do truly know Paul Perkinson Chialing. And he is in trouble as he is stuck in his bedroom along with the other colleagues at his apartment. A curse has happened. 
happen. Well, if you are telling the truth, let me stick to Paul himself so I can believe in his story more realistically. Well, that's a problem, Chia Lin. He can't talk to you as his phone is in the office where I am right now, and he is in his bedroom stuck. Unless if I put him on speaker mode, that'll be the only way you can hear him. Okay, that'll work. Take the phone to the nearest area where Paul is, Audrey. Chia Ling? Can you hear me? Paul, yes, I can hear you. So you're truly stuck like Audrey Otterter said. Yes, I am truly stuck, Chia Ling. Can you come back from London today so you can help us defeat whoever has caused this curse and be colleague of the year for 2024? Chia Ling Heliponta? Is that really you? Hold on. Why did that voice sounded familiar? Best to ask her. Paul Perkinson? Is that really my little brother? Matilda. Guess what, you two? We can fly too, just like the both of you. If you want your friends back, you gotta catch us as fast as you can. Good luck! After them, Beth! Oh, you can't fly in John Lewis. That's forbidden. Lewis Teagle, is that you? I hope this episode is your last one. Nobody likes this show. Nobody even watches Lewis vlogs. Now get out before I use my super magical force field and punch attacks, and also calling 999. Out. Now. Haha. Ha. I can see you two as well rotten reality and heartless. Out. Now. Get two merchandise collectibles for just £14.99, and get another, absolutely for free. This Warwick water bottle is now on offer for £3 till September time. And if you are very impressed with this advertisement brought to you by Swati Soonti, you could be a lucky winner to work at Sainsbury's with me in Shrewsbury, Shropshire. If you are interested, all you have to do is come to Sainsbury's where I work, ask the manager for an interest of working with us, and the manager will decide to see who will be our winner to come and work full time with us and get paid £20 an hour for a 10 hour shift, 5 days a week. Take that UK government and Boris Johnson plus Rishi Sunak. Enjoy your golden PlayStation 4, while we get more money than the both of you in your mansions. But anyways, Sainsbury's, brought to you by Swati Soonti. You two are so pathetic. You've been chasing us for the last hour. And still haven't touched me or my son, or an absolute train wreck Lewis and Beth are, separately. Why are they on this planet? I don't know. Why is Lewis and Beth are on this planet, Daddy? I, I, I can't fly anymore. Queen be Beth, take it easy and have a break. I'll finish them. Lewis, no. Come and finish me, you two. It's the last thing I wanted you two to do. This may be the last ever Lewis Vlogs episode, but the 100 episodes is amazing if you two think about it. Now, 
Come and get me. You're on. Say goodbye to your life. Who is that girl? Who on earth's that? Is that your girly girlfriend, Lewis? Luke, I've never seen anything even more ugly in my entire life. Screw Lewis, let's take out her to our lair. <coughs> what? Hey? No! No! What's going on? Oh, Tom Riddle. I'm... dying. No! She got rid of rotten reality. And heartless. Do you know anything about that girl, Queen Bee Bear? No, I don't. How mysterious. There's Natasha, Queen Bee Bear. Come on. Where's Queen Wasp Wendy? Ah, uh, Lewis, Beth, I got some bad news. Oh, no, they haven't. What do you mean? Well, I don't know how to explain this really. Queen Wasp Wendy had her wings cropped off thanks to rotten reality and Heartless. Worse of all, Heartless has sucked out Wendy's health. The repairman has tried everything to fix Queen Wasp Wendy. But after 20 minutes being at the villain's lair, the worse has happened. Queen Wasp Wendy is no longer with us. She's dead. There you go, Andy Alien and Rock Robot. You're finally out of that room after hours of being stuck. It took a lot of effort of mine to budget your door as hard as I can, but finally managed to get the bleeding thing opened. Thank you very much, Alan Burger. Rob Robot suffered claustrophobia merely from being in a smaller room for far too long. Jonathan Jack once put Rob in a tiny cage all night long and he almost self-destructed himself if Jonathan didn't let him out of that tiny cage he hated. Rob knows it's risky and can destroy his entire self if he uses self-destruct. Once he's gone, he'll never ever come back whatsoever. Well, if I saw Rob in reality and heartless myself, I would have sacrificed my whole self so not only them two idiots can be gone for good. But also then everyone would know I'll be a massive superhero for the entire community. But I also know that Andy Alien would be far too lonely without me. He and I first met on a different planet and Jonathan Jack rescued us as that planet exploded many years ago due to Stacy Goblins laser the entire planet. I hope me and Andy never see those Stacy Goblins ever again. Jonathan Jack hated them and managed to eliminate every single one of them. Space Goblins. Sounds interesting. I might start to take an interest in spacey subjects so I can understand outer space better and more clearly. Well, you have a proper look in depth at that later, Hugh Jackson. For now, I'm so happy to see my lovely boyfriend again. I was that desperate to go for a wee, you know. My bladder almost couldn't hold any more liquid and even on got me out of my room first before anyone else's. Was I the only one that was desperate to go toilet after been locked in all day today? I was super desperate to go for a poo Kate first thing this morning. I never felt that uncomfortable in my entire life. Thanks again, Alan, for getting me out after you got Kate Napicopter out. You're a legend to Paul Perkinson. If you weren't around, that and Kate would have gone toilet in their knickers. Mother Nature was trying its hardest to get the best out of me all day but I survived from going to the ladies' room by keeping myself busy in my bedroom. I always wanted to go on a show similar to I'm a Celebrity, get me out of here, but unfortunately I'm just a general person and the show couldn't have me audition because I wasn't well known. I kept myself busy all day too in my bedroom, 
I rang my sister and she has told me she became colleague of the year this year for all of her hard work. I told her many things about what's been happening at the apartment since her departure ages ago. Daniel Dickinson. I got a surprise for you. Really Paul? That's so kind and sweet of you. Where is my surprise? It's on the ground floor. Do you know about Alessandro's bedroom that was owned to Alessandro Pipicchiaccio? I do yes Sarah. I know that Alessandro was fired by Daniel for throwing you in that brickle bush Paul Perkinson. As of today, Alessandro's former bedroom is now yours. Wow. Thank you ever so much Paul Perkinson. That means I can move out of the house I've been living at since Lewis Vlog 46, and Alan can have that room since it's nearer towards your apartment since Natasha has Alan's old bedroom now. Well thank you Daniel Dickinson. That's a nice reward for saving your life from death earlier. Henrietta Biggle will have a new neighbor to get to know. I'll get to know you a lot more similar to Daniel Dickinson, Alan. I'll sure I still see Daniel around as me and him has some nice times together. Like when we were searching for Lewis once, and watching the stars outside on a nice clear night. I see. Let's have a summer party to celebrate the ending of Rotten Reality and Heartless since they're gone for good now. Oh, I do say... Oh. Hello there. So... Episode 100 of Lois Vlogs. You've pretty much seen the entire thing, haven't you? Unfortunately, Queen Wasp Wendy is truly dead, sadly. Thanks to Rotten Reality and Heartless, there's nothing we can do. Me and Queen Bee Beth did found her. Rotten Reality and Heartless just threw her in a ditch, somewhere like that. Ripped her wings off, and well, they've pretty much beaten her up, unfortunately. And by the time me and Beth founded her, she wasn't breathing, sadly. There's nothing we can do, there's nothing you can do. Never mind. And I've only met her this year as well, so it's not like. I've known her for years. It's a shame. We even took her to the same man who's repairing Jonathan Jack and he can't repair Queen Wasp Wendy. There's nothing he could have done either. But Rotten Reality and Heartless are gone for good. But that girl is mysterious though, she is. She's very mysterious. I wonder who is she? Do you know? Do any of you know? What if she's a legendary girl? Or she's a rare human being? Well, I guess we'll have to figure out another day. Well, as much as I like um, to say thank you for tuning in to every episode of Lois Logs. Can't believe this is the series finale, the last ever episode of Lois Vlogs. I hope you really enjoyed nearly four years of entertainment and silliness and seeing development as well. But it's time for the show to wrap up for good this time. And I bet you're very delighted to hear that. You're finally getting what you want, aren't you? Well... It's certainly been a day. I'm probably just going to have a shower, have dinner, and then maybe go for an early night, possibly, after all that excitement. I'm just thinking about Queen Wasp Wendy and the last ever Lewis Logs episode. For, for the true viewers, thanks for tuning in to everything that I've made for you. I really hope you enjoyed the show, because after this, you won't be seeing me anymore, and you're probably going to say like, YES! No more of that ugly face on my screen!
I know, that's what pretty much 98% of you will be saying that. Which is fair enough, it's better than being lied to, isn't it? Thanks for watching the series, thanks for watching this season, and I wish you all well for your futures. And for the final time, bye bye everybody, bye bye. And I really hope you do well in your future. Take care. Hello, old friends.